Hi everyone. Finding what you're looking for in Confluence can be tricky, but I'm going to show you some easy ways to search for the information you need in Confluence. I'm going to focus here on how to find a particular Confluence space. The various projects in Confluence are called spaces, and it really helps if you can get used to that term space. There are a couple of ways to find the particular Confluence space you're looking for. In this example, I'm going to be looking for information about travel and the IHTSDO travel policy. I'm also going to be an anonymous user, not logged into Confluence. This is also a good way if you're designing a space to figure out what people who are not logged in can see in your space. I become an anonymous user by using a Google incognito window by clicking here, going to new incognito window, and clicking there. I've already got one open over here. You can see by my little friend up here. And I've entered confluence.ihtsdotools.org. Now, if I'm looking for information on travel, probably the easiest way to do it is just go to the search bar. Here I can enter travel. Now, you can see that there are different ways. I'll go back here and look at it over here. There are different symbols, and they're over here as well. This one here means that it's a Confluence page within a Confluence space. This is another page within a Confluence space. This one is a PDF within a Confluence space. And finally, this is the one I usually scroll to when I'm looking for information. This symbol here means that this is a Confluence space. So I click there and it takes me to the Confluence space called Travel. Right now we only have one item in there, which is the IHTSO travel policy. And there we go. To go back to the main page, I go here. Another way to find a Confluence space is to use the key up here and the space directory. You can scroll for what you're looking for. And travel is right at the bottom. Of course, the problem with scrolling is that a lot of our spaces start with IHTSDO and a lot of them do not, so it can sometimes be tricky to find it that way. Another way to find a Confluence space is to use the search bar here. Sometimes I might be looking for a SIG. If I enter SIG here, you can see I get a number of options. Here is a space, or a page rather, a page within the space, the implementation SIG space. In the small script, I can see it's in that space. Here's a page called SIG meetings within the dentistry SIG space, and so on. Down here, I get to documents. This symbol here means documents. But as I noted before, usually I'm looking for the space itself. So if I'm looking for the pharmacy space, I can see from this symbol that this is the space for the pharmacy SIG. I click there, and there I am. Now back when I'm logged in, I can find the travel page or the travel space that I'm looking for. In order to find it more easily next time, what I can do is I can make sure that this little star is filled in. That means that it's one of my favorites. Next time when I'm looking for the travel policy, it'll be here under favorite spaces. And there it is next to the symbol showing that it's a confluence space. That's it for now.